Welcome back to Energy Motor Cars. Today I have a 1996 Impala SS. This car only has 26,000 original miles. It's had three owners and it is ultra clean. So I'm gonna be going over it today. Uh, it has a few things done to it, a few aftermarket additions that we'll talk about. And uh, just go over the whole car and show you how clean this 96 Impala SS is. It's a real 96 Impala SS. I know uh, that's kind of a sticking point with some people. I think you could take a Caprice and convert it pretty easily. I know one of the uh, biggest ways to tell is this back window. Um, the, I think the Caprice actually continues out like a little triangle and the Impalas have this little cutout and then they have the little Impala emblem there. So um, yeah, we'll just go over it today and uh, show you inside and out. So like I said, 96 uh, Impala SS, dark cherry metallic. This color is really cool. Um, I don't know how much is gonna show up on the camera, but uh, like out in the sun, it's very metallic. It has a lot of, uh, of metallic. There we go, that shows up pretty well. Um, so you can see how metallic that paint is, the groupie or something. So really, really nice paint. And then you just see like the condition of the paint overall. Um, the car is really, really clean, straight as an arrow. Uh, you can see down the side there. Uh, on the front, you see it's never had a front license plate on it. Um, you know, there's no scratches underneath or anything like that. The headlights are in really good shape. Front grille is in really good shape. You see down the other side, I mean, this thing is, like I said, it is straight as an arrow. Wheels are all in good shape. It has these Nitto Invo tires on it. Original size, 255, 50, 17. Tires are in really good shape. Just had a few miles on them. Glass is in good shape. Roof is perfect there, no, uh, no dents. I mean, you see how, like, how big these cars are and like how flat they are? This thing is like looking at the surface of uh, like a calm lake or something like that. Uh, has tinted windows. There's the Impala logo. I mean, it's like a mirror. All you see is, is the reflection. see the back I mean just as you know straight and clean the uh, Impalas are really cool because they have this fold down uh, license plate for the fuel filler which is pretty neat so of course that still works uh, tinted windows um, like I said all the wheels are in really good shape the tires are in good shape the car was originally I want to say it was like Indiana it's on the Carfax report which is on the website. I think it was originally in Indiana, if I remember right. Uh, and then it came to Texas. It's been in Texas for the last several years. Look how clean this interior is. Gray leather. Just factory interior. And uh, you see like the seats and the carpet. You know, there's like no stains. SS and the uh, headrest there. A little Impala logo in the back. So it's got an aftermarket sound system, and I'll go over that when I get into the back and then into the trunk. We'll talk about that. Um, all the switches and, and everything are in really good shape. Nothing's broken. See how clean the back is. You know, no tears or rips or anything like that in the leather. Um, carpet, floor in really good shape. Floor mats in really good shape. side show you the condition I mean you see there's no issues right there's really nothing to, nothing to point out it's not like it's not 100% perfect I mean the car has um, it's, it's 25 years old you know so it's not 100% perfect but it sure is close it's a really really nice example you can tell it's been kept inside uh, you know in a garage all of its life None of like the weather stripping or, or any of the plastics uh, are faded or anything like that. Dash, um, the dash is in really good shape. It's not cracked or anything like that. Steering wheel's in really good shape. Uh, I'll show you the mileage and, and I'll fire it up and stuff here in a minute. Um, but yeah, you see the seat, uh, no rips or tears. Really like hardly any wear on the seat. Switches. No 
clean. Um, get in with the trunk, and then I'll pop the hood too. But I wanted to talk about the, uh, see the, the remote still works, it's got the remote. Um, you see even like underneath uh, the trunk lid here, super clean. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> so I'll talk about the sound system for just a minute. Um, this was done by a shop in Houston, Arc Audio Amplifier. Um, this piece is just kind of press fit in there. Um, so you can remove it if like you needed to service anything. But you still have a lot of trunk space, this cargo net here. Um, so yeah, you still have a lot of trunk space. All the carpet's in really good shape. And uh, I mean, you fit a bunch of stuff back there because these things are so giant. But um, it has two Image Dynamics 12 inch subwoofers. You can't see them, they're hidden behind that box. But then also like right here, it's got basically like a speaker grill because it's ported. Uh, so the trunk is ported, it has aftermarket speakers in the doors and, and back there and everything. But um, but yeah, so the sound system is insane and I, I, I'm not even gonna try to show it on the um, camera because I know the audio wouldn't wouldn't uh, translate through, but, but uh, it's definitely got a crazy sound system in it. And then it's got a little, in, uh, in the little ashtray here, it has your bass knob, so you can adjust that. Um, and then this screen, it also has a little charger cable there, USB, so you can plug in your phone if you wanted to. Um, so it's got this nice, nice screen. Um, so it kind of modernizes a little bit. Air conditioner works great. Car um, runs well. It's got a pipes exhaust system. I'll actually see if you can see it at all underneath probably not but uh, you can see a little bit of it but yeah it's got like a full uh, dual pipes exhaust system i think it's got like an x pipe some muff mufflers and then um i mentioned the sound system it has uh canon intake so it's got this little canon intake tube and then uh, one of the biggest things is the optus park has actually been replaced with this EFI connection, um, you know, the OptiSpark on these LT1s was very, very problematic. Uh, so it's super common for them to be replaced so you can actually have a reliable car. So um, it's got this EFI connection on there. It has, uh, I think they're LS1 coil packs. And then it has underneath the intake there, it has actually an LS PCM. Uh, and then you can see like the wiring for the amplifier and it has a 200 amp alternator. So a bigger alternator to run the sound system. And, and yeah, just up spark removed and then intake and exhaust. Other than that, it is, um, it's stock. I'll leave the hood up so that whenever I fire it up, uh, we can kind of listen to it under there. But uh, I'll go ahead and close the trunk here. Clean, uh, clean Carfax report. So like I said, three owners, been in Texas for the last several years. I forget which state it was originally, but somewhere a little north of Texas. And uh, uh, you know, no accident history or anything like that. And mileage is all consistent on the Carfax. It's got service history. So I'll put the keys down here. I'll go ahead and fire it up. And you can see the mileage. So 26,680 miles, you can see there are no service lights on, um, oh the power antenna, power antenna rising up there, that's kind of cool, and then uh, got your um, sound system there, it says disconnected because there's a, uh, it's, it's running off the uh, iPod, but, um, but I really like that uh, because it, you know this car needed a modern sound system. It's nice to have that. Power windows.
Just has a nice rumble to it, not too loud, just a little bit of a V8 rumble. So I'll go ahead and shut it off. So there it is guys, uh, 96 Impala SS, 26,680 original miles, dark cherry metallic, gray interior, um, mostly stock, sound system, intake exhaust, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, and the OptiSpark, you know, um, removed for reliability. Um, great tires, uh, really overall just, I mean, I can't stress like how straight this car is. I think it's probably, you know, it, it enhances it because these Impalas are so flat and so low. Uh, like you just, you, you would see anything, you know? Uh, but man, that dark cherry looks sharp. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in the car, give me a call here at Energy Motor Cars. My phone number is 281-768-5290. Uh, website is energymotorcars.com. Facebook and Instagram are both at Energy Motor Cars. Thank you for watching.